Hello everyone! So in today's video, we will be learning how to make this elegant simple beading. So stay tuned! Get right into it i use this type of seed beads i use this needle okay i use the sequence i use this fishing wire which was 0.3 fishing wire i use this bicons golden bicons and also this type of leafy sequence and so this was the kente that i was going to be doing the beading on yes and here is the stats i make sure that you know the sequence basically sometimes it comes on strings it always comes on strings okay so i cut them out from the strings and then i make sure they are all lying flat in my bead and spin bowl here is the stat kindly look at this i pass the needle through the kinte as you're seeing here okay but you have to be using your other hands to direct it and there is no exact measurement for you to get your thread if you can work around a specific thread you are good to go so here i got some seed beads some sequins in the bowl i pick the sequins i pick one seed bead and then i pass the needle through the sequin okay it was not through the bead it is through the sequin let's look at that again here yep so I pick the sequin, I pick the seed bead, pull it down, and pass through the sequin. Okay, so I pass through the sequin. That is how repetitive it's gonna be, but please take a look at it to understand it properly. This is extremely beginner friendly. If you have any questions, kindly hit me up in the comment section yes so like that you pick your sequin you pick your seed bead and then you pass through the sequin okay so you pick your sequin you pick your seed bead and then you pass through your sequin but because there was a bone in it there was a wriggling bone there it was quite difficult to work around it but that doesn't mean that it can't be done it has to be done so we have to figure a way out to make sure that you can work around the bit the bone there okay so that was the um, and that other bus section which was actually worked on with bones so and made it quite difficult but i don't think that should be a reason of not working around it so it was quite tedious though as you can see so that is how the whole process repetitive process is going to be like you pass through your you, pop, you pick your sequence, you get your seed bead, and then you pull it down on the kente or the fabric you're working on, and then you pass through your sequin. It's that easy. So you pass through your sequin. Do you get it? That is, it's that easy. So this is also one of the techniques, and I really use this type of technique a lot. Yes, 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 yes. So you pick your sequin. You pick your seed bead and then you pass through your sequin so like this and then you pass through your sequin okay so that is it that is it that is it so kindly stay tuned watch this video to enjoy but hey there are a lot of techniques that will be applied here how i'm gonna be tying the knots and other things will be in so kindly stay tuned to watch all those process okay yep 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 so kindly stay tuned to watch all the process if this video or if this video has been that informative to you don't forget to subscribe and share among your peers okay if it has been this productive to you please don't forget to subscribe and then share them as well don't forget to like it because it really helps me to meet more people so kindly do that as well that would be extremely I will be extremely grateful for that so as, as you can see you know when I get to the bone instead I try to squeeze the bone so that I could actually pass top of it so this was how the whole process was done and here I came to the next section okay so here in this section I pass it through it like as normal and the cool thing about using fishing wires is the fact that because it's colorless 
no matter where you use it, it cannot be seen. It will not be shown. That is how cool it is to work around fishing wires. You know, the, more, more, apart from the fact that it is that strong that it hardly got on, it really doesn't show up in works when you're working around it. Like, it makes it look this classic, this professional looks. It gives it this professional looks, and I really love that about these fishing chairs that we use. But hey, in this section, I was almost through with the thread, so I had to cut the thread off. So after cutting the thread off, I actually tied knots around the seed beads. The camera really wasn't positioning well, so we couldn't get a close look at it, but it was tied around the seed bead. Okay, so this is how it is looking. Like, this is how perfect it is looking. You can't even see that there has been a tie there. Yep, that is one of the things I do. Yep, yep, yep. I do. Sometimes I do the tie in on the sequence, and yes, that is it. So, here in this section, I wanted to follow a specific path in. The bride basically didn't want so much beads, and she just wanted it to be elegant. Okay, so I just went around with that flow. I wasn't it wasn't packed with bees, but a lot of techniques was applied here, and then I made sure that she really liked it. And at the end of the day, she was fine with it, she was okay with it, with how elegant and simple it looked. So I used this 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 bead and spin. If you don't have it, don't worry, you can use your hands to do those picking. So when I get the crystals that I amount I wanted, I passed it through the bicones. Like when I get the bicones like this, I pass it through the bicones. But I make sure that the number that I need, I always go an extra one. So that the extra one, I don't pass through the extra one, I just pass through the others. Okay, so when you're working around it, please take it into consideration. As you can see you don't necessarily have to pass through all the beads that you you picked on okay you have to leave one so that it would work as um let me say it would work as like um that safeguard for the bees not to remove okay so when you're done with the number you want you get an extra one that you're going to use to be the guard or the lock Okay, so when it does like that, I, I'm going through here, I'm going through the crystals and the bicons I use. I didn't use the seed bead. I didn't go through the seed bead rather. Okay, so I went through the crystals and the bicons. I didn't go through the seed bead. Okay, I used seed bead because I wanted to have a touch of green. I could have used bicons or the crystals. Yep, so with this, you go through the crystals and the bicons. You don't go through the seed bead or the last bead you added. Okay, so the last bead always acts as a hold or as a lock so that the others don't fall off. If you pass through all of them, they are all going to fall off and we don't want that. We want it to be as secured as it has to be. So, you use one of either the seed bead or the crystals you're working around and then you go through, you go back through the other ones, excluding one that is going to be like the lock. Okay, so that was the whole process that was gone through here in this section. Yep, yep, yep. But Rita Kess Collection is a fashion house that deals in women's wear, men's wear. We deal with all your bridal needs as well. So kindly hit us up. Kente, we deal with Kente gowns, beautiful Kente, authentic Kente gowns. Yep, we sew them. We deal with Kente dresses, graduation dresses, wedding gowns, dinner dresses, casual wears. All these ones are being handled here at Rita Kess Collection fashion house and delivery basically isn't a problem no matter where your location is we will send it through you to ghana post or dhl depending on the duration that you would like yep that is what we do here so kindly hit us up if you want any of any of these services and we are more than willing to do that to you but if you also want these types of materials i'm using like the bees the queen sequins and you're not here in ghana Hit me up, I can get you some and get it delivered to you at your doorstep. I have a lot of people that have done that too. I'm yet to be uploading pictures. Yep, I'm yet to be uploading pictures so that you can get access to them if you'd want to. Yes, 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 we are legit. And we make sure that your things are delivered to you. Okay, so if you're not getting some where you are and you think where we have here in Ghana is the best, 
kindly link me up on my whatsapp okay chat us there and then we will reply you and get things delivered to you yep so you pass through the crystals and the bicons you know you leave one bead out so that you go through the other so that the last bead you leave out acts as the lock to prevent them from falling off yep 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 so basically that is what we did this whole time and yes it's quite it's very very easy but here i was going i was doing this specific pattern that i've drawn that is why you can see me passing the needle through the kente to that place okay yes you can see me doing that because of the pattern i'm trying to follow that is why it happened like that so here i was done on the other section was sectioned with the same method and technique so here in this section i actually got you know as usual i made sure that i had my fishing wire in a specific location and then i was getting the crystals and the bicons on the thread to go around another beautiful and unique technique so kindly stay tuned to watch that and understand that so perfectly so here in this section i was getting as more beads as i could okay so if that happens it makes the crystals or the beads you're working off with actually drops in a specific kind of way and it's so beautiful when you do that technique so here in this section that was what i was doing yep 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 but i made sure that it was more than yes the bees actually have to be longer than where you would want to add it it should be a few inches more than that so if you do that it makes it flow down in a specific other and it makes it so beautiful yes 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 so it will depend on the how how the inches is so you actually have to work around that inches that you're working around there is no specific inches that has to be used depending on how big how wide how small the place is and that is how you will do that so here in this section i was tying the knots yep as well i do tie i do love tying my knots in front of the project because it's fishing wire and it's done so neatly that you can even notice that there has been a tie in there yep 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 so that is what i do most of the time and yes here in this section i was tying the knot but if you've made it this far kindly do subscribe i hope you've learned a lot and thank you so much for staying till the end like this it's almost through yep 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 so here in this section i was tying the knot and making sure that the knot was tied properly yes and strongly so this is how the whole project was looking like at the end of the day this is what you can see here this is how the whole beading ended up looking like yep 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 yep, yep. and the client loved and appreciated it and that is all thank you for staying till the end xoxo